Miss Sparks. Some would say trying to get Officer Mercer removed is excessive. Excessive? Was it excessive when he killed my yeah. son? Where is the justice for my son? For my family? No, I do not think that it was excessive. Hey, you. <laughs> Where are you off to? Uh, I'm just going to the gym. Oh. Before I forget. On your way, could you uh, drop this off for me at Patricia's house? I borrowed it from her last week. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing. I'll, uh, I'll drop it off before I go to the gym. Thanks. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I love you too, son. Oh, uh, dinner's at five. Don't be late. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. We want to provide you with a tool to help you do just that. It's called Angel. Angel securely stores your video in the cloud. Angel immediately notifies us when you're in trouble. Using Angel will get us... Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi, um, I live at six thirty five Euclid Avenue, and there's some guy walking down my block, and he has a hoodie covering his face. Ma'am, is the person doing anything harmful or suspicious? I've never seen this man before, and it's making me very nervous. Can you give me a description? White male, about mid twenties, in workout clothes. Yes, ma'am. Please stay indoors. Help should be arriving shortly. Be advised that a call came in about a white male, mid twenties, in exercise attire appears to be acting suspiciously over by Euclid Avenue. Dispatch, this is R953. I have eyes on a person from Euclid. Show me responding. I just came to drop something hey, off. Back up now! Oh, what's going on? He thinks I'm trying Shut to break up. in now. Ma'am, I caught this guy trying to break into your home. He's not trying to break in, okay? I need you to get my mom works with me, okay? So if I could just show you my ID. It's okay, okay. I said, don't move. Hey, I'm gonna leave. Leave. Do not interfere. Can I please just help him, please? I'm a nurse. Jonathan, 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 I'm right here, okay? Jonathan! Jonathan, I'm right here, okay? Please, look at me, I'm right here, Jonathan. I'm right here. Ah, please! Please, get us some damn help, please! Jonathan, okay, 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 I got you, I got you, I got you, please, I got you. Jonathan, please, Jonathan, please, thank God. Please, Jonathan, please, 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 this is a R952. I'm at the southwest corner of Miller Drive and Euclid Avenue. Suspect is down. I repeat, suspect is down. Earlier today, Jonathan Matthews came to this house where he was allegedly shot and killed by an off-duty officer responding to a 911 call about a suspicious person in the neighborhood. I'm Tori Flynn. Stay tuned to News 13 for more updates about this story. Good afternoon. For the last few months, my team have worked long hours to build a solid case against Gregory Halloway. He took the liberty of using his badge to invoke fear in the hearts and minds of a community that already held resentment against law enforcement. Far too many have skated justice, but the buck stops here. As a mother myself, I can only imagine what Miss Matthews is going through. I believe in the justice system and what it represents. 
I will take your questions now. Prosecutor, Prosecutor Bannon. Bannon. Prosecutor Bannon. Reports have surfaced that Jonathan Matthews had a DUI and was arrested for drug possession. Could this in any way sway the grand jury? Mr. Matthews was arrested in the past, but he paid his debt to society, and by no means should any of that be used against him. He is the victim. Let's remember that. Ms. Matthews, how do you feel about what they're saying about your son? According to police, he resisted arrest. What? No. No, he, he didn't resist arrest. And yes, my son had a past. But who doesn't? Does anyone's past just give them the right to shoot them in cold blood? My, my son was murdered. Sources tell me you sent him to the home where he died. Do you blame yourself for his death? Hmm. Okay, no more questions. No more questions. Let's go. Let's go. In the case of the state versus Gregory Holloway, the grand jury has decided to indict Gregory Holloway with a charge of second-degree murder, with lower charges available for consideration. The penalty for second-degree murder is 15 years to life in prison. All rise. The Honorable Judge Evelyn Roberts presiding. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Prosecution, please call your next witness. I call Patricia Jackson to the stand. Raise your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. You see it? Ms. Jackson, could you please tell the court exactly what did you see? I was getting ready for work when I heard a commotion in my backyard. Did you go to the backyard to investigate? Yes. And when you opened the door, what did you see? I saw Officer Holloway point his gun at Jonathan, then at me. Did Jonathan appear to give Officer Holloway a hard time? Objection! Ms. Jackson did not witness their first interaction. Sustain. Ms. Jackson, did Jonathan Matthews point a weapon at Officer Holloway? Objection! Sustained. Move on, Ms. Bannon. After Officer Holloway discharged his weapon, did you see another weapon anywhere on the ground? No. Do you know why Jonathan Matthews was in your backyard? I work with his mother, Linda, and he was dropping off a, a necklace that um, she borrowed from me. So he wasn't trespassing? No. I texted him to come to the back door. Thank you. I have no further questions. Miss Jackson. Did you see the beginning of the argument between my client and Mr. Matthews? No, but I... Did you hear any words spoken between my client and Mr. Matthews prior to you exiting your house? No. Earlier you testified that you were waiting for Jonathan to bring a piece of jewelry that his mother had borrowed from you, correct? Yes. Now, Ms. Jackson, were you aware that Jonathan looked through your window before coming to that back door? No. My last question, Your Honor. Miss Jackson, if you saw someone look in your neighbor's window, pull their hoodie over their head, and walk down the driveway, what would you do? Your Honor, I ask you direct the witness to please answer my question. Miss Jackson, you must answer the question. Call the police. She would call the police. I have no further questions, Your Honor. What the hell is going on in there? Tell me you have a better game plan, because from where I'm sitting, this guy is crushing you! 
Linda, I am doing the best I can, and I am sticking to my promise to get justice for Jonathan. This is a process. It takes time. Then do your damn job! I am! After the recess, Officer Holloway is going to testify. And he cannot run from the truth. You better be right. Mr. Holloway, how long have you been on the force? This June will make 15 years. 15? And what made you want to join the force in the first place? I watched my mother get abused by my father, and I wasn't able to help her. Her only saving grace was the police officer who responded to the call to our house. And how did this shape your perception of police officers? Objection! The court isn't here to listen to his life story. Uh, this leads into the mindset of my client. Overruled. You may answer the question. I felt that uh, police officers were the heroes I didn't know existed. The heroes? Mr. Holloway, let's get into why we're all here. Did you intend to shoot Jonathan Matthews? No. Why did you shoot Jonathan Matthews? He looked like he was reaching for something. I, mean, I told him not to move. Did you think about the outcome? Every day. I wish things had happened much differently. No further questions, Your Honor. Officer Holloway, was a weapon found after you shot Mr. Matthews? No. So you shot a man who had no weapon? Objection! Withdrawn? Officer Holloway, weren't you off duty when you shot Mr. Matthews? Yes, but I saw him looking into someone's window. Well, according to the logs, you called for backup, but didn't wait for it. Is that a customary practice? <clears throat> no, it is not. But I didn't see what he was doing, so I had to react. Well, you're about 6'1", 6 6'2". 6 and Jonathan was 5'8". What threat did he pose toward you? A bullet isn't gonna stop and ask me my height or weight. When he reached into his pocket, I feared for my life. So without properly assessing the situation, you shot first and feared later. Objection. Move on, counselor. <laughs> what did I say, something that amused you, Mr. Holloway? You, uh... You asked me what it was about him that made me fear for my life. Yes, I did. He became combative. You know, I had a split second to react. I lost my T.O., my training officer, three years ago, for Christ's sake, because he failed to act every morning before I go on patrol, I look my wife in the eye and I tell her I love her as if I never see her again. I hug my children and smell their hair as if I never see them again. I do that because at any moment, someone who doesn't want to get a ticket or go to jail is going to think less about my life and more about their freedom. I mean, oh. What am I supposed to do? Just, just stand there and watch him shoot me? I responded to what I thought was a threat. You know, you know, you will never understand what it's like to be a cop, to put your life on the line every day. 
You will never understand what it is to walk a mile in my shoes. I'm sorry for what happened. I wish things had happened much differently. I am so sorry, Mrs. Matthews. I have no further questions. Your son William was shot by Officer Mercer. Okay, that's it. Oh, wait, wait, please. My son stopped at the police bike, <laughs> and the property owner told him to get off his property. It's a damn shame. Trespassing or not, the police were called, and William was fatally injured. Walk me through what this Thanks. last year has been. <gasps> What do you think about everything so far? I don't know. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Well, um, I have been trying to get Officer Mercer removed from the force. Wait a minute. But to no avail. You're, you're you know, Kayla. Like you Kayla Sparks, your, your son. Yeah. For some type same as yours. So I, uh, I understand all too well how you're feeling. Hey. <laughs> it's okay. Some would say it's gonna be all right. Listen, I'm here. If you just need somebody to talk to. I get it. Thank For you. my family. Yeah. No, I do not think that it was excessive. <laughs> dead. He's dead. To your son. <sighs> to your son. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I would like to first thank you for accepting the responsibility of being a juror. As you may have noticed, we've had to clear out the courtroom due to the magnitude of this trial. This process is to hold your peer, Gregory Holloway, accountable for the actions he made on May 14th of last year. Did Gregory Holloway handle the situation accordingly? Absolutely not. He reacted to what he thought was a break-in without properly assessing the situation, which resulted in Jonathan Matthews to lose his life. You know, the motto of the police is to protect and serve. But we saw through evidence and witness testimony how a bully got a badge and set out to make people pay. And sadly, one of those people is no longer with us to speak for himself. Somebody has to pay for that. And that person is Gregory Halloway. Gregory Holloway has served this country with pride and honor. He has defended these very lands and the liberties that each and every one of us take for granted every day. While we were all sleeping peacefully, he stood strong. He 
protected us. And now the time has come for us to do the same for him. You see, Gregory Holloway didn't put a gun to his head. He didn't arrive at the scene intending to shoot or harm Jonathan in any way. Anybody could understand how it went so bad so fast. But Gregory Holloway was doing what he was trained to do. He was protecting and serving. This case isn't about black or white. It is about upholding the law. And that is exactly what my client did. My brothers in blue go out there every single day putting their lives on the line so that you good people, so that you all can come and go with zero problems. And now we're all here today because protecting that safety has caused a problem. This man and his service to protect your safety, he should not be punished. And his service should not be in vain. Thank you. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. Will the defendant please rise? In the case of the state versus Gregory Holloway for the second degree murder of Jonathan Matthews, how do you find? We, the jury, find the defendant, Gregory Holloway, not guilty. No! No, no! You can't do that! You can't do that! Order. You can't let this happen! I will no. have order. Mr. Holloway, you are hereby released. Court adjourned. Are you okay? I watched that monster go free. Back to his life. Back to his cushy, privileged job. When did that become fair? What kind of system takes the word of a cop who just assumed that my son was breaking the damn law? I watched him smirk and fix his face to say that he feared for his life. Yet my son is the only one dead here. We, we live in a country, a country that can put people on the moon, cure cancer, make incredible strides. Justice is still just an afterthought. I'm, I'm so angry I can scream. But it's not going to bring my Jonathan back. It's not going to bring my Jonathan back. there for him. Because that's what 
mothers are supposed to do. That's what mothers are supposed to do. Welcome to my world.